Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. It's been a little bit, but that's not for lack of me playing the game. I've been playing lots of Vintage Story. I just uh, haven't been able to get to editing the pile of footage. So here we are. Um, when we last left off, we were just starting to get into copper uh, resources, copper, kind of the not, not quite the Bronze Age. I mean, we're not going to be in the Bronze Age for a while, but... We got our first couple of copper chunks. Copper chunks are, are pain, a pain in the butt because you need a hammer um, made out of copper. All right. So this means you have to kind of like repeat a little bit of the process of <coughs> resource gathering and getting copper. It also means we had to make a, uh, we have to fire ourselves a copper head mold so we can prepare for that aspect. But uh, yeah, the cap. I was saying in the last episode, um, if the copper hammer was only used for uh, breaking the copper chunks into copper nuggets, then you know I would say maybe you know maybe it's kind of uh, pointless and unnecessary use of our resources. But it's actually used for smithing as well, so it's going to be uh, coming really good handy later. So we need some sticks. We need some uh, stuff. We we're seeing. We're going to see a little bit of the uh, beginnings of us actually get this, turn this ruin into some kind of base. I do have major plans now for, for what I want to do with this base, and I'm pretty excited to, to see them come to fruition. But for now, um, it's just going to be a, um, I mean, not even quite a pit in the ground. It's going to, it's going to be a filled in pit with dirt until we take care of that. So now that we've got the hammerhead mold um, getting fired, we can go and focus on what really matters, which is finding flax, which we did just now. We found a little bit of flax. Flax is going to be super important for all kinds of things, um, but uh, we we really don't have enough of it before uh, you know to to make use of it. But it's going to be insanely important for making all kinds of things out of uh, you know the material, the the flax string. Uh, I make a note, or a, it's a rule of mine, that whenever I go on in some kind of exploration or journey, um, I have to bring a little bit of food back, or at least, you know, keep myself fed. Otherwise, I'm not going to be keeping on top of the food situation. And, I mean, it, we're not there yet, but, uh, you know, winter is around the corner eventually. It's, uh, it's, it is it's is coming, you know, memes aside. So um, it is something we're going to have to worry about, and food preservation is something we're going to have to keep in mind. So uh, resin, hey, resin is now something I kind of understand what to do with. It's important for making a few different things, but basically it's a glue, um, and it's used for making certain armors or certain materials. You'll see me here dip my toes a little bit into spelunking, but it's generally not something I want to do. Um, because right now we're, st I'm still in this kind of like scary situation with Vintage Story where like a death can really cost us. We'll see a little bit later, hey, foreshadowing, um, why, uh, death is, is so, um, such a, such a high cost. Um, but you know, I am playing in survival mode. We'll get to that later. I like to include little scenes like this because it, you know, one of the things I really enjoy about Vintage Story, oh, yeah, well, I was going to talk about the scenery, but instead we're actually getting attacked by another wolf. I will include more of this, but uh, yeah, wolves wolves are a real pain in the butt, aren't they? I am starting to actually figure out how wolves work. They're, they're an interesting uh, aspect to Vintage Story. And when I say vintage, I mean they really are a pain in the butt. But um, what's what kind of cool here is we, we did get a couple of attacks off. They killed us, but then they they kind of bleed out. Um, there is actually an aspect of the game where, you know, an animal will just kind of like die after you've attacked it, which is interesting. We plant our flax. We're, we're going to get to farming. We, we've closed up our, our fence. I actually uh, placed the rest of our fence here because for now I don't really want to have extra fence taking up inventory space. But yeah, our ruin. Um, we are going to see um see it develop over the course of many many episodes and i'm hoping that by the time um we have like a very basic home built out from it uh we it, it'll be about winter time so we can we can stay warm <clears throat> i do eventually want to have like a greenhouse and a windmill and all kinds of fun stuff there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do in 
uh, vintage story to to make your home feel more homely and they are functioning which is one of the things i really en- enjoy uh, about this game <clears throat> so there's another wolf we can start to see a little bit their um their behaviors they do actually go and hunt uh animals like you know rabbits and chickens as well um and hey we got our a little bit of copper here this is a this is going to be an ongoing almost like reoccurring thing is this specific spot here as well as how we get copper. Um, but basically, I may have mentioned it before, but a copper nugget on the surface uh, will indicate a vein under underground. Now, I thought that that was um, a chance-based thing. It, was like, it may indicate a vein, but no, it actually does indicate a vein every time. But you can see here by my question mark, um, the question mark I added there is, I'm not sure if there's a copper vein there because I've dug down a little bit and I see no copper. I'll talk a little bit later about why I didn't find copper there, but it's going to be kind of that location is going to be reoccurring. <clears throat> so, get the rest of our flax down. We got some more resources, but yeah, wolves. Um, they'll basically they hunt. They'll hunt either you or another animal, and then they're good for a little bit. Like they're they're okay, um, you know. And 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 then you know you'll hear them howl, and that's an indication that they are going to hunt again so you want to keep out of their way so here's a uh, here's a real 2001 moment for you um this is uh, as people have mentioned but here here's the moment of realization right right here oh oh you can hear you can actually hear the 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 t- 2001 theme playing in the background it's like i i figured it out by complete accident that if you put um, gravel on top of each other or on top of the ground, not in the water, that you get actually like seven uses out of it instead of uh, one. I don't know why why it is that it just disappears. I think maybe what happens is the water like goes over it. It's like the block interferes with water or something or the water interferes with the block when it's been dug down. Um, so anyway, now from this point on, I, I've realized, and I recorded this a little while ago, so, um, you know, I appreciate the, the tips. They're always helpful, but, um, it turns out I, I did figure out on my own before I, I read it in the comments. So we needed some more charcoal. We're always going to need more charcoal, but we needed more charcoal so we can fire our copper, <clears throat> melt, smelt it down and then, uh, get our hammer. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like, that this is you know everything in vintage story is a milestone but this is a pretty major milestone being able to um break down copper chunks means that we have opened ourselves up to um f- you know basically mining we are, we are now officially miners uh you know able to able to resource gather properly except not really because as i will find out later um uh, mining copper is not nearly as as uh, simple or as straightforward as you might think, as is nothing in Vintage Story. I mean, it is it is very realistic in its survival aspects um, and also in its resource gathering aspects. It's, a, it's interesting, you know, like I I don't notice it until I notice it, but the, you know, the, the survival aspects of Vintage Story are very, actually very realistic, um, for better or worse sometimes. Um, I don't know why I included this, but apparently I I felt the need to to uh, hunt this this uh, raccoon, which I feel kind of bad about. Honestly, I feel bad about hunting like creatures in this game. I love this door. Every time, like every other time, I I open this door, it just falls apart, and that is by design. By the way, it is a crappy door, and it will just fall apart. It'll just fall right off its hinge. Um, you're gonna, we're gonna be spending a little, like, probably three or four more episodes in this hut, I'm afraid. It's, it's a little bit cramped, and I I grant you it's not great, but for just trying to get things going, it's, it's served me quite well, I have to say. This, like, temporary shack while we, uh, try and turn, turn these ruins into some kind of home. Um, but, yeah, like, I, I know it's not the prettiest thing to look at, but for like not even like the copper age it's a, it works it works well works for the for almost like the theme so here's our first copper nugget um broken from a copper chunk you know i like to include the milestones 
and uh, then we we start doing some actual exploration, trying to find some other copper in the world. Um, you know, I, I was pretty excited uh, once once I f- figured out uh, that copper nuggets were an indication of our vein, or once I read that, I was like, yes. And now I have to go and find all of those copper nuggets. I, uh, you know, those veins I, I left behind. You know, that's the the worst realization is like once you've, you know, after a little while, you're like, oh, there's all these, you know, the copper nuggets on the ground. And you pick them up, and then later you, you realize, oh, there was actually way more there, and that now I I have no idea where it is. So here's an interesting little um, scenario in which I. I dig, did dig down for our copper nuggets, and then I realized I, I actually break into a cave. And uh, I wasn't yet brave to, enough to, to co- kind of venture into caves yet, so I'm just trying to, like, you know, get my copper chunks and then get out of there. Um, the, I, I am, I'm aware of future events, so I, I know just, like, how painful this is going to be for for other people, but a lot of this resource gathering is... Is just like oh, that's that was a lot of copper we just got, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I did uh, check out a little bit of the cave there, and oh, oh, and then we get attacked by a dweller because um, there was one down there, and they'll they'll follow you back up. This was a deep, sorry, deep drifter. There's a lot of these guys, a lot of different types of these little critters, and they're all kind of creepy. I, they they creep me out quite a bit. So I've I've remarked the location with a red marker to, to let me know that uh, that that location is mined out. I found a, tra- uh, uh, a traveling merchant w- who sells virtually nothing useful for us, but hey, you know, just the same. I decided to check out their wares and mark it on the map, and who knows, maybe I'll come back and maybe they'll have different wares, who can say. Um, eventually, I will have to um, get into animal husbandry. But today is not that day, and honestly, as I, I think I've mentioned it, uh, animal husbandry is like one of my least favorite aspects of these kind of games. I don't like having to like trap animals, and like uh, certainly they're a resource hog in Vintage Story because you gotta feed them grains and feed them all kinds of stuff. I mean, you can feed uh, some animals grass, you can get away with doing that, but then that just equates to time spent getting the grass and feeding them every day. Um, which is going to eat away from other things. So I'm not doing it yet. Um, but here we are. We're fi- finally kind of building up this uh, this location, this ruin. And I am trying to kind of match the tile. I've, I'm playing with different ideas in terms of like what, how we can kind of match the material. And here's the first like a rare sighting of an actual quality of life feature I miss from Minecraft, which is that stairs matching, uh, hitting each other in the corners will will make a little corner stair, stair uh, well, or staircase, but that's fine. There's so many other quality of life features in Vintage Story that I don't get in Minecraft that it's, you know, it's not really missed. And there's, there's a lot more to do in this game, which I really appreciate. But yeah, um, I have a, I have a loose design in mind for the ruin right now, but like, just to, just doing the, you know, figuring out the materials, what kind of materials I, I want to do it with. I was playing with the idea of building it out of wood, but I know that that is um, not a great idea because then if I'm doing any kind of smithing or smelting in it, then there's a chance I could burn the whole place down. So that wouldn't be great. So um, keep an eye on that anvil mold in our inventory, by the way, how long we keep that and basically don't fire that. But here I have turned uh, our, our, our boons, our gains from this episode into uh, our first actual weapon, a, a copper sword. And I'm pretty excited about that. So I guess I guess we, we are firing the, uh, the anvil mold now. I, I guess like I, I wanted to actually start pouring some copper into that mold, but I realized, well, I, I didn't realize, I didn't understand why the copper, molten copper wasn't going in the mold, but that's because it was a mold and not actually... Uh, like you know it wasn't fired it was just clay so i have to i have to fire it before i can actually start pouring molten copper into it so finish finish this up and this is basically going to be the end of the episode as i'm pelting rocks back at a drifter or dweller or whatever it is um get the you know rest of the wood and basically it's the last thing i do before i shut down for the night um 
But yeah, huge milestones gained. An actual weapon. Who who who'd have thunk it? And a anvil. Uh, progress on the anvil anyway. Um, and quite a lot of copper gained. But uh, yeah, things are slowly but surely um, kind of progressing. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how some of these things develop in the next episode. But uh, in any case, there's there's our anvil. I don't know what the visual glitch on that one was. It looked like it, it used twice as many firewood. I don't know if maybe it does just does require more firewood, but it seemed to use twice as much for some reason. In any case. If you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And thanks very much for uh, my subscribers to the coffee. If you want to consider subscribing to the coffee, you will get your name on the, the golden simpies, or the, the little simpies, or the potential simpies. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.